What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here. And in this video, we talk about the state of Walmart drop shipping in 2023 and beyond. And on this video, I bring on my partner in crime and the man who manages all the automation Walmart stores that we do have. And he's gonna talk about his thoughts on the status of Walmart in 2023. So we're gonna cover not only drop shipping, but we're gonna tease a little bit about service called WFS, which not a lot of people talk about. We're gonna talk about all that and a heck of a lot more. So I'm fired up for this video. I hope you're fired up. Let's do this. Okay, so we're here with Steven, who you guys are gonna meet momentarily. But first, let me say this. If you guys are interested in what we're about to talk about and if you're interested in full-on automation, then I do have my email below. You can feel free to reach out. I'd be more than happy to jump on a call with you and talk about what options there are available to you. And uh, you'll get to learn more about Steven and uh, his team and what we're about to talk about here. But uh, I wanted to bring Steven on this call. So I will kind of do like a quick intro for the purposes of talking about what the status is of Walmart right now. Uh, and more or less, this is kind of like a status update, like what's going on in Walmart. People always ask this and They'll be like, is it safe? You know, last year people were getting suspended. They were getting shut down and terminated. People were losing their minds. But what's going on in Walmart as of right now, 2023, we're like February, 2023, what is going on? And how, what is the outlook if I want to jump into Walmart? So Steven, you want to tell people, what do you think in terms of Walmart? Is it a very good option, particularly for somebody brand new that has zero experience or even a seasoned person? Yeah, it's the best option, actually, because as of today, uh, we have a new system, which is to a step drop shipping, right? I'm going to explain that a little bit more. Um, what we do is we purchase products from a supplier. We send it to our warehouse, right? And once we receive the product, we uh, remove the branded boxes um, and then we ship it out to the customer. That removes the, the suspensions, that removes the terminations, you know? And it's everything handled by us from A to C, like customer support, product research, fulfillment, you know? And there is uh, obviously a lot of, uh, there is a lot of things that goes within this process, but the client does not to do, like does, doesn't do anything at all. All right. And what do you, like a lot of people were so, like they're still, they don't understand the concept of two-step. And a lot of people are still, I don't want to say being suckered into going into still standard drop shipping, but how important do you think two step is in terms of being able to survive 2023 without getting your Walmart account shut down? Okay. I believe that it's like indispensable. Like you need to start, like if, if you want to have a successful Walmart store, you need to stop doing drop shipping. You cannot drop ship from Amazon to Walmart. That does not work anymore. That stopped working in 2021 actually. And people that are selling drop shipping, that's literally a scam. Like you cannot be doing that as of today because you're going to get suspended in the first month, you know, and we're looking for a longevity business here. So what we do is, let's say, if we find a really good product on Amazon, that's, let's say, $10 and we find the same product on Walmart that's for like that's going for 20 bucks instead of 10, then we know that we have a margin there. So what we do is we purchase that exact product from Amazon, prime delivery, we receive it on the warehouse, and then we remove the box that came in, right? So there is not an, um, a policy that we're breaking in that in that aspect because obviously um, there is a conflict of interest if we send the sack box where we purchase the product from a different brand to a Walmart client or Walmart customer, right? So in that aspect, uh, we're literally um, following the guidelines of Walmart and we will not see any suspensions or terminations. So if you're doing drop shipping, most likely you will get suspended within the first two, three months of running the account. And the fact that uh, also when you're doing drop shipping, you're using different addresses, different warehouses to fulfill your orders. That's a big red flag for Walmart as well, right? So in this case, we own a warehouse here in Florida and we receive all the products to our warehouse and then we ship it out from one address real tracking numbers, which is another thing that's a huge issue when it comes to drop shipping, because when you're using fake tracking numbers, those fake tracking numbers, now Walmart have access to read the labels. For example, they can see the customer name, they can see um, 
the address of the customer. Um, they can see just the information. And when you're using fake tracking numbers like Get More Tracks or Taco Tracks or these software that provides you fake tracking numbers, um, in order for you to do not use the TVA that Amazon gives, then they see that these are not uh, actually real trackings and they like you can get your account terminated or suspended in the, in the best scenarios you get suspended because you can recover it in the worst case scenario you get terminated and then you have your money stuck for 180 days and hence the reason why we're doing this system where we are actually purchasing the products from amazon to our warehouse or from the supplier to a warehouse and cheaping everything from or one address with real tracking numbers and no brands on the boxes or envelopes at all Right. And, you know, I know that that sounds awesome, Stephen, but I know that there's going to be a lot of cynics out there that are going to say, oh, wow, well, you still got to capture the package and you still got to send it out. And what kind of profits are really being made? Because we still at the end of the day, correct me if I'm wrong, but we still got to pay for shipping out of pocket. So what do you say to people that are telling you that? Yeah. So in terms of, of numbers, um, we do find really good profitable like products. And we are looking at anywhere from 20 to 30 percent ROI. It obviously varies according to the sales that we're having. But um, there is definitely enough room for us to be able to get the product, cheap it out with a real tracking number, like get the box or, or the poly back, you know, whatever it is needed to cheap it out. So, um, yeah, I mean, there is there is a lot of profits in this business and we can jump into some examples in a minute. Right. And, you know. That's great that the that you look for these products with all this extra cushion, but can you give me an example of what kind of profits people are seeing? Because I know a lot of people are still they're still gonna have this thing in their head like, oh, we we can't we can't make profit. I don't know what Steven's talking about. It's not possible. I can already hear <laughs> it in my head, Steven. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can definitely make anywhere from two to $5,000 the first three months. There is a warm up period uh, on the accounts, right? <clears throat> so yeah, the first three months we will be hitting anywhere from 2000 to $5,000. And after the warm up period, we're gonna push towards like how how how, uh, how much capital the person or the client have, right? So the more capital they have, the more we can scale and the more profits we will see. But I mean, we can literally jump on an account that last month did around $15,000 in profit. And uh, over the last year have generated over a million dollars in sales. So, and we can just go over a few orders and you guys will see everything live. So there is enough room for sure to make profits with Walmart right now and two-step drop shipping, purchasing the poly bags, boxes, non-branded, buying the the trackings and everything. I mean, it's all about it, it's all about numbers. I believe that numbers speak louder than words, to be honest. So Absolutely. That that sounds exciting. I know people are going to be excited. They're going to say, Liz, get on with your questions and let's see the, let's get the show on the road. Let's look at some stats. But I do have one more question. And I know this is really important because um, as usual, one of the things that you're really good at, and I know a lot of people won't, won't know this just because they don't know you as well as I do, but you are very good at framing expectations and being very uh, honest with the client in terms of what expectations are. You know, you, you said a lot right now about their first months and what to expect. But another huge expectation that I see a lot of these automation companies miss the mark on is they get people excited about this opportunity and they're like, you're going to make all this money and people, they sign up and they expect to get started immediately. But the reality is, is there is a waiting period. There's a couple different options that you do have. Obviously, some of them are going to be a little pricier than others, but Give me an idea for what the typical waiting period is for somebody that does sign up for your service, how long they're going to have to wait to get a store and to get started. And like I said, you're just really good at being honest with the client and kind of telling, I've seen you guide people in some of the groups that I'm in with some of the people that um, are clients and you set their expectations very realistically. And I know that they appreciate that, but there's a lot of people that don't do that. Yeah, no, and I do like to set the expectations in a proper way because it's better to over deliver than under deliver. So some people just like tell you, yeah, you're going to get started in three, four, five business days. And then it takes like a month to months. And then people already have this negative uh, like vibe. And I believe that vibes are everything when it comes to like 
the flowingness of everything. So I do like to like tell people uh, what's the process and be transparent with that. And in terms of going into Walmart, um, there is a lot of processes that you have to do. You have to get a dance number. You have to uh, have an HLC. You know, you have to create a website. So it can take anywhere from four to 12 weeks to get your proof on board on Walmart, like fully active. And then after that, um, we can start having sales as soon as the account is active. But just the pr approval period can take from four to 12 weeks. And there is another um, option, which is fast track, which is that we already have a corporation that's pre-approved and we can sell you that asset, that, that LLC with the Walmart asset already active. And we'll cut that time frame of waiting for the approval, right? Because it can take four, four weeks or it can take 12 weeks. We don't know. I mean, it's all depending on Walmart as well. So uh, definitely I encourage people to go for the fast track because that will mean that they will get their uh, ROI way faster too. Right. And yeah, I'm, I'm taking some notes just because I do have some other questions, but um, I think that's it. All the main questions here that I did have, you covered most of them. So why don't we just start to show people what you wanted to show them on the back end? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, so unfortunately, this video is getting a little too long, so I decided to split it up into two pieces. So you definitely want to tune in next time as he's going to show us behind the scenes of a million dollar store and talk about how long it took that store to get like that as well as a few other goodies that he has up his sleeves and what we are starting to run across all stores in general it's a new evolution of walmart 2023 and you don't want to miss it so i will see you guys next time